my lovelies welcome back um we're going out today which sounds very posh um i think i mentioned it in a previous video we're actually going to our neighbors who live just across the road and they're having a little a little luncheon um for a few of the neighbors and their friends and we've been invited which is lovely um so i thought i would share the makeup i'm going to do i have put a selection out but I haven't got anything definite which won't surprise you in the least so, um, there's a few bits and pieces as tends to happen it's not deliberate but I suppose it is deliberate because they're just products I like there's a lot of Charlotte Tilbury um, lurking again yeah. it's just how it is and I have also dragged out my favorite highlighter I have been using some of my others because they need using and there's nothing wrong with them but as you know this Anastasia highlighter is just divine so it's not sponsored I don't think there's anything PR either no I've been I don't know really what to say about that um, I'm very lucky that I do get asked and sent PR items but this year I have paired it back um, quite dramatically to be honest because there's a lot of products that I really love that I just want to buy for myself and I suppose yes I'm fortunate that a lot of items I can afford to buy. Um, I don't know how I feel about the PR stuff at the moment, there's just so much out there and a lot of people that's all they feature and the turnover is extreme when you see it, especially skincare and that really concerns me. When I've had PR skincare before I've always made it very clear that they're not going to get a review for at least two months plus. I can do with first impressions, but it's going to be a couple of months at least before they get a full on review. And I suppose if they can get bloggers out there who will do a review in two, three, four weeks, it's better for them than somebody like myself. However, I'm not going to change how I work and I don't believe you can trust a review of skincare after two or three weeks. It's as simple as that. But there's a lot of it and there's a lot of people featuring skincare literally this is fabulous this is fabulous this is fabulous week after week after week after week after week and i think i've just got quite bored of it to be honest um i want to feature stuff that i have put my own money to and um, the odd bits of pr i've had i've gone out and actually bought the products themselves because i've loved them so much so i'm not featuring as much pr as i used to and it is deliberate um, but I'm always grateful it sounds ungrateful when you're getting offered these things but oh I just feel so strongly about being very very open and transparent and honest with you and I just don't want to be consistently going this is a PR sample this is a PR sample I want to hold things up and say I bought this because I believed in it I really wanted to try it not I've been sent this time and time again does that make sense I hope so. I'm going to put my face on and there are no PR items. As I'm looking, there's absolutely no PR items. That's what I was saying. So, um, I want really glowy skin and I've got the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury, which is just that. It's a filter and it's the best doe for applicator I think I've ever seen in my life. I think I've already said that on video and I just wipe it on my face. There's actually no my more recent organization as to where i put it it's just on my face and i have shade light medium which is number three if you use a charlotte tilbury foundation go onto their website and they will actually tell you which flawless filter is for you by the foundation that you use but i love this i'm going for the glow today i just find this I never got on with Wonder Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. I found it far too um, glowy, shimmery, almost glittery on my skin, obvious, and I really didn't like it. This for me is sort of the, that's the teenage daughter, the Wonder Glow, and this is like the proper adult parent. And I love it, and I just put it everywhere. And you could put a bit of concealer on at that and leave it at that but I'm not going to because obviously 
we're going to be mingling and I want to have a little bit more finish to my um, makeup. And I'm going to use more glow. I'm going to use the Saint Laurent All-in-One Glow Foundation, which I love. Beige 40, B40. And I'm just going to take a pump, which is quite a lot actually from this one. Pump. And I'm going to blend it with my fingers because this for me is really the only way to work with this foundation. Normally I would probably use maybe half a pump, but because I'm going out and I just want to have glowy, flawless skin. It's been a bit cloudy this morning, threatening rain, but I think we're going to have a bit of a brighter afternoon. And my hair is wet, my apologies, I'm going to do my hair later, because we're not going for a few hours yet. If you can hear chewing, you know who it is. Yes, it's Betty. She's got one of her favourite toys. Right, I'm going to use um, a fail-safe concealer, which I tend to do now if I'm going somewhere specifically a party or something. I always go for the makeup that I know really works for my skin, rather than experimenting and thinking, oh, that might look good or that might work. I much prefer to go knowing I'm using products that are reliable. Although I have got a new lip product, which I haven't tried. So I'm going to give that a whirl today. IT Bye Bye Under Eye. And again, I'm just going to use my fingers. I just think the warmth of your fingers works so well with this and it gives a lovely dewy finish. My apologies, I do keep doing this. Oh, terrible. Um, eyes. I dragged out the Charlotte Tilbury Dolce Beta palette because I love it. Um, I'm wearing a dress, just a sort of greeny mustard dress, and I'm wearing my long black um, knee-high boots because it's not vastly warm. And I have a very sort of soft cashmere black cardigan that I'm going to wear. So I'm thinking that this is sort of perfect because it's just subtle browns and whatnot. So I'm going to use the lightest shade first of all, just as a wash over the eye area. I'm just going to press that onto the eye. Then I have um, the Profusion brush. I've rooted out the eyeshadow palette that was a PR sample that had a little bit of everything in it. I love the palette and I just got waylaid with everything else. So I will be using the Profusion palette again, but I loved this brush that came with it. I'm going to just mix the two darker shades here, um, just on the brush. So there's sort of a ready tone and a warm brown. And I'm just going to work that just in the outer corner to start with, just to see what I think and bring it in and over the mobile lid, just take it softly in and I'm going to work it up to the brow. Take my colour right up Then with the pencil brush, I'm going to use the pigment in the Dolce Vita palette, which i just about to hit pan on. I'm going to take that underneath the eye.
dual fibre brush I'm going to take the pigment again you can use your fingers which with a lot of pigment works a treat Charlotte Tilbury is such a great pigment that it works equally well on a brush and I'm just going to press that onto the mobile lid more sort of in a corner to the center and blending it outwards then I'm going to use the two shadows that I mixed previously on the pencil brush and I'm just going to darken the outer corner glossier don't want to make a big fuss of the brows I've got some of the Charlotte Tilbury um, Marie Antoinette um, and I am just going to put a tiny bit of that in the corner of my eye. I know I've put the glitter there but I just I like this just gold cream just to make a slightly different texture. I am going to use some blusher which is Rocketeur from Benefit. This is my second Rocketeur because I love the colour. It's just a really great colour to work with. And press that onto the face. And then I have the highlighter. Anastasia Beverly Hills, Sam Resi collaboration. I bought a second one because it's so fabulous. I'm going to try and not do the Tin Man because you know I get a little bit obsessed and I spread it just about everywhere possible on my face. Oh, it's so good. So, so good. Mascara, I have L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic, which is such great. High Street Mascara, although it's not cheap, mascaras are not cheap. Right, Makeup Forever Aqua Lip, and I've got shade 2C. I haven't used, I've used odd things to make up for everybody, but it was, um, oh, Sarah, I'm sure it was Sarah, um, a viewer who recommended this range, I was saying I was using more lip liners and she just said, this is all she uses and I have to say, it's so smooth and lovely, um, that yes, I thought I'd try one, so thank you for the recommendation. Right, lips, I have one of the Lancome, um, are they matte shakers they call them and this is kiss me Cherie 374 and they're supposed to dry matte so I just wanted to try something that was probably mm, that's different I suppose similar to the NARS not the NARS the Smashbox ones that I like oh that's nice oh mm. I find the applicator a bit thick but I love this color it's sort of a pinky red That's quite nice. Hmm. The more subtle, not as pigmented, very creamy when you apply it, but it's supposed to dry down matte. Not as easy to get the precision. It's quite thick. But I love the colour. Really nice. Kiss me, Cherie. It's okay. Right, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder. I'm just going to powder down under the eyes just a little bit of the t-zone i think we're done that's my look for going out for a little neighborly um luncheon soiree i will be doing my hair i'll probably use my straighteners and just give it a bit of a twizzle um Although I could be very lazy and leave it like that and just put some big earrings on. Um, but yes, I've still got my dress to put on. 
So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. And I will see you for another video very soon. Bye for now.